This is an example of a properly configured rudder feedback unit, or RFU. The RFU is on the left, and the rudder, rudder stock, and rudder stock adapter bracket are on the right. You can see here that the distance from the center of rotation of the rudder reference unit to its ball socket is equal to the distance from the center of rotation of the rudder stock to its ball socket on the rudder stock adapter. This results in a 90 degree angle between the rudder arm, the linkage rod, and the rudder and rudder stock adapter. In this configuration, you can see that rudder angle movements are matched exactly by angles on the rudder reference unit. So a 45 degree deflection of the rudder results in a 45 degree deflection of the rudder reference unit. This is an example of an improperly set up rudder reference unit, where the distance from the center of rotation of the arm to its ball socket is much less than on the rudder bracket. What this results in is greatly amplified rotations of the rudder reference unit for small rotations of the rudder. So a 10 or 15 degree angle on the rudder is resulting in a 45 degree deflection of the rudder reference unit. What can also happen in this configuration is when the arm gets to this position, we have the rudder reference arm directly in line with the linkage rod. At this point, when the rudder tries to rotate back, it's a 50-50 chance whether the rudder, is going, rudder reference unit is going to go in the correct direction or continue on past 90 degrees and result in complete mechanical breakage of the rudder reference unit. The rudder reference unit can only go to plus and minus 90 degrees. You can see that even if it could withstand rotations more than 90 degrees, once it got into this position, it's indicating completely wrong angles compared to what the rudder is actually doing. Now the solution to this is to make sure that these distances are correct, that this distance from the center of the arm to the ball socket is equal to or greater than the distance from the center of the rudder to its ball socket. If you end up in a situation where this distance cannot be matched exactly by one of the holes on the rudder reference bracket, use the hole at the smaller diameter, not the hole at the next larger. So pick the hole with the smaller diameter. 